Hi there, Michelle here, Dreaming English. Today, we're going to talk about Walden Pond, which you can see behind me, the historic place that Henry David Thoreau lived for two years, two months, and two days. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and to see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Henry David Thoreau. The book Walden that Henry David Thoreau wrote after his time living here has been one of the most printed books and printed in the most in hundreds of different languages and read throughout the whole entire world. We're here, it's November 7th and it's actually so warm. We had snow on the ground last week but it's so warm that people are swimming so it's kind of really crazy. I kind of think I should have brought my bathing suit. There's some people that are out on kayaks and on boats and there are people that are swimming in the water. So due to the coronavirus, we have to have our masks. Right now there's, there's no one around so I could take it down. And the trail is one way only. So people can't go that way. That way we can keep our distance from other people. Behind me there's a one way sign. So people can only go one way on this path. So that way people can stay and keep their social distances and they should wear their masks when there's other when there's other people around. So there's also another sign there. around this lake it's about one mile exactly when you walk one one mile so when there are other people around I need to put this mask on to keep me safe and potentially to keep other people safe this year we also we didn't get a lot of rain and right now this part that I'm walking on it usually is covered with water but because we didn't get much rain, you can pretty much walk around the whole lake and walk on the beach. Walk on the beach that is usually underwater. So right now I've just left the trail and I'm walking along the beach. I was thinking that maybe I should have brought my bathing suit, but I actually put my feet in the water and it's very very cold so no I would not want to swim there are people I'm not sure if you can see someone over there that is swimming but they usually wear wetsuits when they come here this time of year and I've seen people even swimming in the winter when there's still when there's some ice they swim all summer long and they swim around the lake like I said it's about one mile around the lake so this place, Walden, is one of the places that I go and my family go to kind of be one with nature and to kind of leave our problems behind. And in the visitor center, there's a sign that says, where is your Walden? Where is the place that you go to get away from your problems? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.